what's up my YouTube page all right so I'm gonna do this video a little differently I'm gonna try to get an angle where you could actually see what I'm doing as opposed to just me talking and seeing my face so let me zoom in a bit here oh no, you can't talk oh yeah because it's facing okay well I'm sorry you can't really see much I can't really put it any closer than that um, I'm working on my branding here, The one of the five cutting boards I have to do from the order of 13 that I got from this nice couple with their taxidermy business. Um, yeah, it's just a branding for their taxidermy business. But anyways, I just wanted to say real quick before I forget, um, if you... If you have to do this to clean off the little pieces of, of ash that stay stuck to it, like, because if it has ash on it and it's not a proper, like, straight line, it, I could mess up the, the piece of work here, so I gotta be very careful. Um, but yeah, my last video I was talking about how I almost died basically and I felt like it might have been an assassination attempt on our lives or at least like a, a warning uh, to slow us down um, but I mean it could have just been a coincidence as well uh, I'm not really sure exactly like how that all played out um, behind the scenes but I was sure about my anger about it i was very 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 upset for a very long time about that um where i actually wanted to seek revenge like i wanted to go to the dude's house i actually did go to his um place of, of business and want because i wanted to confront him uh talk to him and get try to get a sense of what you know if he was just an act it was an accident or if he was sent there or what exactly so uh but he wasn't there every time i went he wasn't there um his dad once came out and i talked to him about it but actually i didn't talk to him about it. i just asked him if he knew where he was and stuff but i think he could tell that i was there for something that wasn't you know necessarily his son's best interest so um, he was hesitant to give me any information but um, I've messaged him about it on Facebook and stuff, and he's never, come, you know, he just makes it seem like it was just an accident, so maybe it was, I don't know, if he tries it again, I'll fucking kill him this time, though, so I don't give a fuck, um, yeah, cause that pissed me off, and I really wanted to kick his ass that day, like, I wanted to, I wanted to fucking jump on him and start clawing his fucking eyes off, like, I was pissed, I was mad, but, um, but you know it was also unsure to me what what had happened exactly it was an accident um and and i got my my uh my emotions on it kind of hindered a bit by the universe because i i used to work at the lea and um which is the laredo entertainment arena it's not the same arena actually it's not the laredo entertainment arena um, but it's, <clears throat> yeah, I used to work there, and they have a lot of, of, um, boxing matches, right, and a lot of MMA stuff, a lot of fights, basically, we got a lot of fights, fight nights, and, um, he's, well, like I said in the other video, he is in, uh, he has a karate class here, so he, he does boxing and shit like that, and I saw that his name was on the card. Uh, to fight that night that I, a night that I had to work, I was an usher, and so I get to see, actually, you know, what's going on, and, um, and yeah, so I, I got to see him get his ass beat that day, and it was so refreshing, it was so enjoyable, it, like, healed so much in me, so much of that anger that I wanted to, like, get out on him, just seeing somebody else pound his fucking face in, and, make him like feel like a little bitch like the little fucking bitch he was that night like oh my god it was so relieving and and i went up and i shook the dude's hand i was like thank you you have no idea how much you just like helped me right now and 
and I told him what happened, you know, what he did and shit. He almost killed me, and he didn't even fucking say sorry about it, you know, and I didn't even know if he did it on purpose or what, so he was like, well, you're welcome, and he, you know, I knew he was sent to, to help me personally deal with that issue, that, that issue of rage that I had, because I was unsure, like, exactly what had happened, you know, because if I would have found out that he did, he was sent by somebody, you can be fucking guaranteed 100% that I would have looked further into that, I would not have just let it go, but I've let it go now, I don't, I don't, you know, I can hear my mother-in-law talk about him and I won't, you know, get all fired up the way I used to or I would just start talking shit about him, so, I know I've gotten a little better in that aspect. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that because I ended that video all depressing and because I was fucking gonna start crying. But I was gonna cry about the issue of my family, you know, not really seeming concerned about the whole thing as much as, you know, I feel like I would have if it was my daughter that was in a situation like that. That I am sure for my fucking. That would have happened to one of my siblings. But anyways, whatever, I digress. I'm not talking about that right now. I just wanted to mention that so I could get that out of my system. Say it out loud. And then um, I just wanted to talk about other stuff. Nothing to do with any of that right now. Um, this is coming out so fucking awesome. I'm doing these other brandings on these mojajetes. Sorry if you can't hear me that well with my face down like this. Um, I gotta look at what I'm doing when I'm doing it. I can't be like staring at the camera and you know looking up here. I mean I can kind of see it but I need to really get the details so. Yeah, I need to be looking down. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the molcajetes, but I'm doing those by hand. As you can tell, this one I actually put a vinyl, I cut out, uh, or I printed out a vinyl of the logo image that I'm using, and I just traced it, and that's what I'm using to, uh, to go off of here. But on the other ones, the molcajetes, show it. by hand and see how tiny it com came out it's so small it's such a tiny like little area here um well I have to do that by hand so as you can see I drew the little horns on it's very hard to draw that tiny on this so it's not that great looking but it looks better when it's branded um as you can tell in the first one but, yeah, it's a lot harder to do it by hand because, uh, well, yeah, the computer is just more accurate. The computer is exact, and my hand is not. I'm kind of sad because we're sending back this CNC machine that we got. Uh, back when the stimulus check came around, it's over here. That CNC machine that I put together, that I built with the pieces that came in the box. Um, yeah, it was disassembled. I put it together. And, um, what? Uh, I keep saying stuff. So. Um, but yeah, I could have figure out the programming, how to, you know, get it basically to work. It moved and everything, and it worked, like, on my command once, and I just, it, it wouldn't do it again, and, I don't know, you need to buy another program that's more expensive, I, I think, in order for it to, like, really just solve its own internal issues, 
technical issues and I we don't have that because they're really expensive. So we're just gonna send it back and get our money back hopefully and buy wood and just make products out of wood um, to sell like cutting boards and stuff like that because yeah it's just been sitting there gathering dust this whole time and it's, it's just been a I think it's just been a demotivator to Marco because he sees it and that it's just not working and he's fighting dust and he's just getting down by it, you know. And I like, I've tried to research into like how to do it and stuff, but it's a lot of information that you have to look up. It's so much. Like, I've never done stuff like that before, like computer, you know coding and all that shit I've never done anything like that I've looked into it before and you know I know the gist of it how it works but I don't know really like the all the little you know tricks and little things that you gotta know to be able to do something like that troubleshoot something like that smoothly I can't do it can't do it I mean, I probably could, but I need time, and I don't have fucking time. Like, look at me, I'm fucking doing, like, three things at once right now. I can't, I can't, you know. Fuck. I can't do it all, especially right now, the way I am. Fucking depressed and down and fucking feeling like shit half the time. Or all the time inside, shit. Ugh. Uh, these are probably like the most depressing how-to videos anyone could ever come across because I'm kind of describing sort of how I'm doing things but I'm also just being depressing <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry fables I don't mean to depress you I don't mean to make you sad I'm so sorry I'm just trying to Get by a new me. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm sorry. As best I can, anyways. What are you laughing at? Your voice just went full retard for a minute. You're full retard. <laughs> it went like full all south. The time. Fucking like hardcore south. Wow, so the people from the south are retarded? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying their voices. You see? You see how he thinks, people? This is, this is Marco. Oh shit, is this live? No, it's recording now, it's going on my page. Yeah, you should cut this off. No, I'm gonna put it. I put all my videos live, like live feed, like no cutting. No mm -hmm. kidding. Do you have the charger? No cutting, no kidding. Do I have the charger? No, I don't. To that? Yes. No, I think it's inside. Oh. Alright. Well. There's a lot of stupid shit sometimes, but um, he means well. He's just kind of dumb. But aren't we all? I'm pretty dumb a lot too, shit. Yup, made a lot of dumb choices in my life. Out of anger. Out of fear, for sure. I could have been so far in my life already by now if I would have just got my shit together. Get your shit together. Uh, it's very upsetting. But it's okay. I mean, it's alright. I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing it. I'm getting it done. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Okay. I'm starting to not pay as much attention to the little details here when I'm looking at it because I am thinking a lot. So I'm thinking of starting a t-shirting, well, t-shirting, <laughs> shitting me, I'm, I'm 
Okay, I've already got the name down. I'll say I've got the name down of what I want the business to be called, and I've got the like place set for it. I've got the materials for it, so I can start it already. I kind of have. I mean, I made some T-shirts, but not uh, for sale just yet. Just for us. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start. It vinyl and t-shirt business where I just make vinyl designs and t-shirt designs and yeah I'm gonna be putting that up pretty soon um probably I don't know maybe uh, I don't know I hate, I hate timelines I really do I hate getting putting a timeline on anything because then you got you got that extra pressure on you and I just hate pressure like I hate having pressure on me I like doing things at my own speed at my own pace at my own liking at my own will I think that's why no I know that's why I, I haven't done as much as I you know as I could right now as I should in my life because of my fucking like I said my stubbornness my own will my own my own decisions to do things at my own slow pace and deal with things in my own slow way and um yeah so I, I, I'm not gonna say like exactly when I could say like a month I could say a week I could say tomorrow you know and I could probably do it too I could get it started already fully or just start moving on that path more because in, in a sense I have started because I have started moving things in that direction here and there like a little bit but I'm not really you know fully 100% just on that path mostly because I'm doing stuff other stuff you know at the moment but you know it's, it's to be done but yeah my, my business is going to be called these vinyls and teas these vinyls and teas and it's gonna be designs that are made by me 100% um, I will of course offer like logos or like you know um, 